Now then people, it's Charlie and welcome back to Bite Size Leads on the Chatting Leads YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. So then guys, all the latest news, transfer news in the world of the mighty Leeds United for you again today. But before we get into it, please like the video if you enjoy it. We're nearly at 300 subs now guys. If you could do me a solid, you know, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot and let's get into it. So then, guys, first up today is the news that apparently in the last 24 hours, Leeds have approached the representatives of uh, Mr. Connor Gallagher, um, the Chelsea youngster who I believe spent last season out on loan at West Bromwich Albion. Um, so we've approached them for a season-long loan deal with no option to buy clause. Now, for me, yeah, this would be a really good signing. Um, he is a really good player and a really good talent for the future. However, if there's no option to buy clause, then for me, it doesn't excite me as much. And I'm not as excited about the prospect of having him at Leeds. Um, I think this could very much have the potential to turn into a Ben White saga where we fall in love with a loan signing. We really want them to stay. And then he'll just fuck off back to Chelsea and he'll either be in their team or they'll just send him out on loan somewhere else. Let's be honest, you can't really see him breaking into that Chelsea team anytime soon. So, yeah, I can understand why they maybe want a loan deal initially, but for me, they should be putting an option to buy clause in there. It's a really, really good player, and I think he could really thrive under the um, the way that we play under Bielsa. Um, but, yeah, as I said, um, I'm not really getting excited. I'm not getting my hopes up about this one. I'm not really bothered either way because even if he comes to lead yeah he might have an amazing season but then he's just gonna fuck back off so it is what it is um i mean i wouldn't say no but at the same time if we don't sign him i'd rather focus our attention on these other midfielders that we've been linked with who are going to be permanent signings and who actually have a vision of being at the club long term up next, guys, very briefly, um, as I did discuss in my last upload, um, we are in for a new goalkeeper, and that new keeper is the Valengria keeper, Christopher Clayson. Um, now, um, since my last upload, guys, there's been a small development in that deal and that he is expected to fly to England um, at the beginning of this week coming. Um, in order to finalise his deal to Leeds United, is that he's expected to have a, um, a medical and sign his contract and everything. Um, by that news, his work permit must have been fine. Um, so all he's been given the all clear basically um, to come and finalise that deal. As I've said, you know, really good backup keeper, good competition um, for Melia. Hopefully be able to can turn him into a top keeper as well um and i'm just really happy that at the moment we seem to be getting strength in depth in our squad um which will only do us good um going into our second season in the top flight so then guys this next one um i did speak about a few uploads ago um and that is that apparently held acosta um, is a player of interest um, from spanish side of valencia um, now, when I first saw this a few uploads ago, um, I didn't think it had any merit Did this story. I just thought it was one of them random ones, you know. Um, but apparently it is quite um, serious and the interest is real. Um, and apparently they value him at around £8 million. Now, considering we signed him for about £15, £16 million, if this deal happened with, you know... A, we're at a 50% loss. Um, but, I mean, what do you guys think? You know, hit me up in the, the comments section. Do you think Helder Costa is worth £8 million? Do you think he's worth less or more than that? Um, me, personally, I do, I do think he's worth more than £8 million. Um, I think that's a bit harsh. Um, I'd, I'd value him at about £10, £12 million now. Um, I think his value has decreased slightly, but that's probably just due to the lack of game time since Rafinha's come in. Um, but I still think Helder Costa is a top player. Um, 
I just think his confidence took a massive hit last season. But, you know, there was the odd game where he still did well. I mean, I've looked at Man City away. I thought he was one of our best players on the pitch that day. Um, so he has got a good game in him. Um, but for me, the only kind of way I see Helder Costa leaving is if we either sign a new winger or if we have one that's definitely lined up um, as a guaranteed signing. You know, we've been linked with the likes of um, Noah Lang and uh, Matthias Cunner and and things like that. So, you know, Costa to Valencia, I mean, can it happen? Potentially. But as I say, um, I think if Bielsa ends up thinking that we don't need a new winger, um, I think Elder Costa is really good um, and he can make an impact for us. Obviously, I don't see him starting most games, um, but it could be a really good squad player um, if we don't sign a new winger. But I think that is one of our priorities. So I'll just keep an eye on this one um, because this one could have some interesting developments, guys. And finally, guys, just to end this video on, it's the absolute nonsense story that apparently Calvin Phillips um, is going to go to Liverpool. Apparently, the Reds are interested in KP, um, which you can't blame them. There's going to be a lot of top teams that are interested in him after how he performed at the Euros. Um, we had such a good tournament, which part of me was happy about because he represented Leeds in a perfect way, but then part of me was gutted because like these teams are, you know, these teams are going to be interested. Now, apparently this has kind of surfaced because Jordan Henderson hasn't signed a new deal at um, Liverpool yet. Um, so there's concerns at their end that he isn't going to sign a new deal. Now, for me, I think that's a lot of crap. I think he will sign a new deal at Liverpool. Um, I can't see a reason why he would want to leave them, um, given the success that they've had over the last few seasons, winning the Premier League and the Champions League and everything. Um, and he has been a key figure of that. So I don't see him leaving. But the whole KP story came about because apparently they would want Phillips to replace Henderson which, let's be honest, he did in the England team at the Euros, didn't he? Um, but I don't see this happening. I don't see KP leaving us for any team in this transfer window or for the foreseeable. Leeds United are a club that are on the up. Um, we're pushing for European football this season. Whether it happens or not is another story, but I think that is definitely the aim. Um, and I think it's definitely um, doable. Leeds are in no position to sell. Um, we don't need to sell. Um, we don't need the money. We've got enough money. Apparently, you know, there's talks of, you know, 80 million, 100 million. Um, I mean, again, hit me up in the comment section. How much would you be willing to let KP go for? I mean, me personally, even though he had a really good Euros, I don't see him being 100 million. Um, I think that's really silly. Uh, of a, I, I'd say anything from 50 to 70 million, I think is worth at the moment. I mean, a lot of people might disagree with that. I'm just being kind of um, realistic. I know that these clubs have the sort of money to um, splash these 80 millions and 100 millions, but on a player that's had one season in the Premier League, I just don't think any team would pay that for him. So yeah, I, I'd I'd value him at, at the most at about seventy million. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at Ben White's going to Arsenal for fifty million, isn't it? So the the market's crazy. But the moral of this section, guys, is um, I really wouldn't stress about this. Um, Calvin Phillips is Leeds born. He gets the club. He doesn't need to go i mean let's be honest if he if he did go to a top team there's the risk that he might not get a lot of game time and at leeds for me is the first name on the team sheet so he's loved by our fans he's in the making to be a leeds legend if he could stay at leeds for the whole of his footballing career 
he'll have a statue outside Ellen Road next to Bremner for me. Um, I think he's got that much potential and a future Leeds United captain as well. So then, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode of Bite Size Leeds. I really hope that you've all enjoyed it. As I said at the beginning, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know I said that my next target is 300, which it is, but, you know, I am always aiming higher and I would love to get to 1,000 subs as soon as possible. So, as I said, if you haven't subbed already, please do. It would really mean a lot. I'm really wanting to grow a good community on our channel here. Um, I'm in the process of maybe thinking about other people that I could maybe add to the channel, other types of videos that I could do, you know, with the season only three weeks away, you know, three weeks today we play scum away in the first game of the season, um, you know, and I am a season ticket holder, so there'll be match day vlogs, there'll be a pre and post match videos as well, so there's a lot of exciting things coming, so please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next upload, guys. Thank you very much.